Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Life is Strange. In the last episode, Max and Chloe were chilling out at the junkyard, and Max was tasked with finding five bottles for Chloe to use as target practice. It seems that she was the one who stole David's gun. Um, I'm sure that's gonna end real well. Now then, before we continue, I want to check that we don't have any new text messages. When we got a text from Warren, I discovered that there were some that um, hadn't flagged up as new. Up here all about uh, Max asking him if he knew anything about, you know, time travel and all of that. I just want to make sure that we haven't missed any other new messages. We've read all of the ones from Chloe. Yep, that's that. Kate. Yeah, okay, that. Nothing new there. Nothing new there. Mm, yeah, okay. There wasn't anything new there, and yeah, we'll we'll have a read of the journal. Um, I remember reading this. I don't remember this, though. If I have read it, I apologize, but, you know, I'd, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Chloe was late, duh, so I was happy to be distracted by seeing Joyce again. The diner is like a museum piece, except with customers. Better still, the food hasn't changed at all. Joyce seemed really glad to see me again, and she didn't give me a guilt trip for not staying in touch. After William died, she wanted to move forward with a new life and husband. Chloe doesn't want to accept that. Joyce naturally gave me shit for corrupting Chloe with my devil weed, though I'm not sure she even believed it was mine. What could I say? I can see she actually loves David, even if I don't see how. The breakfast was so worth the grief, though. So much drama, and I haven't even finished my breakfast. Finally, Chloe showed up, more bubbly than I would have thought after almost getting killed in a bathroom yesterday. It makes me happy to see her smile. But that smile meant trouble, since all she really wanted was for me to show off my rewind power. So I did, and I have to admit, I felt like a total boss. Except I did start feeling weak and woozy the more I rewound. I even got a nosebleed, which kind of freaked me out. Chloe always wants more, so she demanded we go to her top secret lair. She still had to get pissed off at me because I dared to answer Kate's call. I'm not a fan of Chloe's petulant side. She tried to make me feel like an ass, but screw that. Kate was so happy I answered, I actually felt worse for her. Chloe has to know I can have two friends at once. Yeah, I, uh... I don't necessarily know if Chloe realises that. I think... I think Chloe feels like Max owes her, which, I mean, to a certain extent, I could agree with. Max ghosted her for five years at the worst time in Chloe's life, and Max has actually acknowledged, yeah, I ghosted her because I didn't want to have to deal with her bumming me out. Which is horrible. That is not what a good friend does in the slightest. And, you know, that was apparently Max's best friend. Like, I, I would hate to see how Max would treat someone who was only a casual acquaintance, you know? it. Max has behaved really badly in this entire situation. I think Chloe... Chloe is kind of in the right to feel like, you owe me. On some level, you owe me. You told me you were going to be there for me, and then you ditched me as soon as I was in a little bit of trouble. Like, what the hell? At the same time, Chloe is being very petulant. Max... Max is capable of having multiple friends in her life. She... Uh, Chloe's... She's being very selfish. She wants Max all to herself to make it up to her for how Max behaved five years ago. But it's... The world doesn't revolve around Chloe. Kate is going through some serious shit. And I... I don't regret answering Kate's call. I don't regret it in the slightest. Now then, let's... Yeah, we sat on that. 
Okay, we have two bottles, three more to go. So I think I'm gonna, I'm trying to be as methodical about this as I can. Oh, doll, oh. We'll, we'll get to you. Ah, syringes, how lovely. Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Mm. It is. It is rather. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? No, no, I don't. I don't think that's morbid or particularly goth. I I enjoy seeing uh, rusted metals. Here's the thing. Specifically, I like seeing old structures that are being reclaimed by nature. I think that is incredibly beautiful. Nope, I don't want to go there. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Okay, and uh, there's no mofo here. Okay. Okay, sign. Okay, hello. La La Land this way. Oh! LA bitch, yes! This is like a little hangout for uh, Chloe and Rachel. Yeah, oh, we see their names right there, nice. That kind of hurts. I... Max. Max, you ghosted this girl for five years at the worst point in her life. You have no right to feel hurt. Like, of course, Chloe was going to find a new best friend who would be there for her. Was Rachel Amble? R Ra Rachel Amble. Oh my God. I am so sorry. I'm... My brain. My brain is not having a good day today. Um, do I think Rachel Amber was there for Chloe? No, I have, I have some very strong thoughts about Rachel Amber, and I'll, I'll get to those later, probably in Before the Storm. But I, I don't think Rachel was a good person. I don't think she was a good person in the slightest. I think Chloe, I. I don't, maybe she just attracts toxic people. Because I would say Max is toxic. Max is a fair weather friend. She's there when things are good. But as soon as things start to get a little bit rocky, her first instinct is to nope out. And I think Rachel Amber was using Chloe to further her own goals. I, like, I, I don't think Rachel Amber was a good person. I don't think she was a a good influence in Chloe's life, but, like, Chloe felt like she had been abandoned by everyone. And so she was... It, it was pretty easy for Rachel to manipulate her. Like, I... Like I said, I... I take issue with Max being like, oh, how could Chloe replace me? You ditched her. You ditched her, like... What else was she supposed to do? I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Ooh. That's because I, uh, I don't think that's Chloe's makeup. I think that's uh, Rachel's. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. It could have. If you hadn't have... Like, it... I, I kind of feel like... <sighs> Max only has herself to blame. Max, she can't put the blame on Chloe finding a new best friend on anyone else. That is solely because of Max's behaviour. And I I find it kind of scummy, you know, how Max is... Rachel is missing. Like, she's a missing person and you're feeling jealous of her because... Chloe it was was her best friend or because she was Chloe's best friend and I'm I, I don't know if I've mentioned this before I don't think that Max is a good person I really don't Rachel songs 
I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Max. Max. Chloe was here. Rachel was here. Ooh, excuse me. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. Max is... I think she's trying to insert herself into Chloe and Rachel's friendship. And she, ha she has no right to want to do that. She has no right to feel like Chloe betrayed her or like Rachel took her place. I think writing is an incredibly scummy thing to do. I'm going to have her do it because that's what I think Max would do. But like, I... I'm going to say this a lot. I think Max behaved really badly and she is continuing to behave really badly. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. This action will have consequences. Oh, Lord. I just... I, my my fiancé said this. He, he felt like maybe Max hadn't hadn't progressed emotionally since the sixth grade and i i had to look that up that's about 12 years old i'd i'd argue max hasn't progressed emotionally since the seventh grade because that would mean she was 13 she was 13 when william died and here's the thing i i'm not saying this to justify max's behavior because it doesn't nothing justifies what Max has done. I think William's death hit both Max and Chloe very badly. Chloe obviously had the more... She rebelled in a more obvious way. You know, piercings, blue hairs, you know, railing against the man and all of that, getting expelled, staying out, doing drugs. Like, Chloe acted with a she reacted with aggression my dad has died this has taken a huge toll on me i'm angry at the world with max i think william's death caused her to almost regress inside herself it made her more of a child and i i do think on some level maybe maybe she didn't grow past 13 years old mentally but because her parents removed her from Arcadia Bay, I don't think they ever noticed. And that's why she never got any kind of therapy to deal with the trauma of William's death. I think with Chloe, it was just that her family couldn't afford it. Therapy is very expensive and they couldn't afford that. With Max's parents, I think it was that they just didn't notice. The fact that, you know... Max went through something traumatic it as I said it doesn't it does not justify any of her behavior Max behaved badly the fact that you have trauma does not mean you can act however you see fit it does not it, it doesn't write off any of her behavior but I think it does explain it it doesn't make it right it just explains it, if that makes sense. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. Mm. Vortex Club block party on the 28th of the 3rd, uh, 2013. Arcadia Bay. DJ Irish Bacon? I'd go see that DJ. I'd... That sounds cool. I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? Probably Chloe. Probably Chloe after Rachel disappeared. Because his... Fuck you. Yes, you. Um... Rachel... I really think that Rachel was kind of Chloe's coping mechanism she had nothing so when this person kind of magically stepped into their life chloe's life then revolved entirely around rachel and then for for them to just disappear again it 
I, like I said, Chloe is clearly devastated. She's clearly devastated by Rachel Amber's disappearance. Ouch. Mm. Yeah, well... Oh, there you are, little bottle. Trying to play hide and seek. Well, we've found you, so we get to take you. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. Mm -hmm. Now then, let's see, where else? Well, I, I know there's one uh, right over there. Hello? Uh, where's, there was, there's the old doll. What is this? Oh, that's creepy as hell. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. I'm not gonna lie, I find baby dolls distressing. I don't like them. They creep me the fuck out. This is the scariest thing here. No, no that, that's the scariest thing. That thing ain't right. I don't, no thank you. I don't like it. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. Rip camera. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Now then, yoink. One more bottle to go. Okay, now I... I... S oh, hello? Okay, yeah, so this, we read this. Max, I want to thank you for giving me such great advice about going to the police and telling them everything about Nathan. I so appreciate you standing by me. Keeps my faith. XO, XO, XO. Kate, I'm on your side. Please don't mention me too much if you can. I'm already in trouble around here. And thanks so much for talking to me this morning. I was about to have a serious cry and I needed a friend. You were there as usual. Smiley face. XO, XO, XO. Well, it, it seems that Kate has forgiven us for uh, not stepping in with David. I just, I just love this Max covering her ass. Like, please don't mention me too much. Oh, Max. Max. I just, Max, I don't think you're a good person. I think she could be. I th here's the thing: everyone has the capability to be good, good, good in and good in and of itself. It's what is good. What is good to one person could be bad to a different person. The idea of goodness is subjective, but I, I think she could be a decent human being. I, one, I think she needs therapy to deal with the latent dra latent trauma of William's death. And then I think, I just think she needs to apologize. I think she needs to acknowledge, verbally acknowledge to the people that she wronged that she fucked up. And I, I think she needs to give people like Chloe a sincere apology. Now then, what I was going to say, I remember the last bottle being very tricky to find. But I... This is it! Hey! <laughs> Not so tricky to find. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, that scared the shit out of me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that... I'm... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that did scare the shit out of me, Jesus. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Mm. Then we need to grab this. Voila. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. However, we need to, um... We need to rewind because that's about to fall, I believe. I'm gonna... Nope. Yep. What did I say? I wonder how we'll get around this. I think I need to... Oh, hello, train. I'm trying to... Where, where will this put us? Oh, really? That's that? Well, we, we got out. 
Now then, let's see. Did the graffiti stick? Because I would, I would like it to still be there. Okay, no, we write it back. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. There we go. And what is, what is this? They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. A psychedelic apocalypse. Saturday, August 12th, 2013. DJ Tonio and DJ Nanal with Derby Girls and Laser Light Show, Hollywood Palace, 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. Uh, $35 at the door. No minors. Okay, DJ Tonio and DJ Nanal. Yeah, whatever. They're not as cool as DJ Irish Bacon, though. DJ Irish Bacon is the best. Facts. Okay, so we have all five bottles. However, we never really explored this side of the junkyard. And I'm inclined to give it just, just a little, like, look-see, at least. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed-up cars. Oof. Big oof right there. God, I... Like, I... I... I really wish Chloe could have gotten some therapy. Basically. I, ju I just feel very badly for her. It's so quiet and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. Uh, I, I think the message is, help us, Max. We're going to get wiped out by a tornado. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, that seems to be everything. Okie doke. Anything to look at over here? Doesn't. Does not seem to be. Piece of clothing. This was an old school punk shirt. Now, if I remember correctly, this was actually where that ghostly deer was hanging out in the last episode. Oh, that's, that's a train. I don't know what I thought that was, but I, again, I saw movement and I was like, whoop. See, this, this is why I can't do horror games. If trains and uh, bits of junk jump scare me, then can, can you imagine me playing something like Outlast or Alien Isolation? No, I'd, I'd have a heart attack. Yeah, we've we've got the bottles. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. Okay. I need to see you shoot first. Okay. Let's go back. Show me the way, Max. Uh, right. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Nice! Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool! Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Oh, not quite. Now, Max, where do I aim? Oh. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Oh, play 
playing with guns such a... Give me something to shoot, Max. Okay, um... The, the blue thing? Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. <laughs> Yawn. Okay. Give me something to shoot, Max. That doodad. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Ooh. Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. That's a bumper? Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> oh shit! Jesus, I sh shot myself! Ah, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! gun! Hold on, Chloe. Whoops! Yeah, I'm going back! So this is why you don't fuck about with guns! God damn! Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Uh, the, the gas tank? Let's see what happens when you shoot the gas tank. Step back, gas tank go boom! We caused a fire! Oh lord! Boom! Car definitely down, but no bottle casualties. Okay, okay! <laughs> Dude, is I need a target before I shoot. This is so stupid. How about aim for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. There it goes. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. She, I don't think she can. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! Oh lord, the universe is pissed. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Again, maybe you shouldn't be abusing your power to shoot guns and shit. Yeah, let's grab that. Very nice. Just two more to go. Excellent. Look at her. Chloe can even chill out playing with a gun. Well, that's not terrifying in the slightest. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. 
In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Do back off. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I- That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet?! Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't! You stole that shit! Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back mm -hmm. before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. Nice. You're kidding. Put that down. Go, Max. The fuck are you doing? The, okay, okay. Shoot, don't shoot. Um. I, I, I think she's a coward. I don't. She's not gonna pull that trigger and risk murdering a man. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Oh god. I, I'm, so I'm gonna leave it right there because I am just about at the end of my time. I, I think I'm gonna reload that. <laughs> We're gonna have Max kill a man in the next episode. Jesus. I Here's my thinking. I know Chloe's saying like, oh, I'm relieved it worked out this way. She's clearly not. She's clearly very pissed at Max. And she's clearly very upset. And here's the thing. we Because we accepted Kate's call earlier in the episode... Chloe got into an argument with her mom, and now because we failed to act, Chloe now doesn't have this gun, and she's once again really upset with us. And again, I think I think Max feels guilty. It's like, oh shit, I I caused her to get into an argument earlier, and and now she's really pissed at me. And I again, I I think Max would do a lot of stupid shit to make. Chloe happy and apparently that includes killing a man oh jeez in the next episode we shoot a guy but until then please remember to like if you enjoyed leave a comment below and if you wanted to subscribe it would be very much appreciated I've been Callista thanks for watching and see you in the next episode